Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete Kubernetes namespaces using Ansible playbook. I have my Kubernetes cluster running in IBM Cloud. So you can see currently it has 7 namespaces. So we are going to add 3 more namespaces to it. I am going to use Visual Studio Code Editor today. I am in the k8s folder so in that I am going to add the playbook yaml now new file I am going to call it as ansible namespace.yaml so I am going to provide the host information here I am going to execute in my local system so I am giving the host as localhost and then I'm going to define the tasks for creating the namespace. I'm going to give the name. Create dev namespace. We're going to use the Kubernetes module. We need to give the name name of the namespace and then we need to give the API version so if you are not sure of the API version you can use the kubectl explain namespace command to get the API version and the kind information here you can see what is the kind and what is the version so version is v1 and the kind is namespace and then we need to add the state so by default the state is present which means if that particular Kubernetes resource is not available it is going to create it and if you want to delete the resource you need to put the status absent so I am going to create three namespaces dev test and prod namespace but the definition I'm going to use for creating is going to be three different ways in the first way I've shown how directly under the uh, k8s module you can define give the name of the namespace and the API version kind the second way is you can create the namespace by providing the YAML information as a definition Here we need to give the state and then we will provide the resource definition under the as a definition API version v1 kind namespace and then as per the Kubernetes resource definition the name has to be given under the metadata test so now we are going to create one more namespace is present and here we are going to provide the definition through a file okay this looks all good let's save it so now I'm going to add a new YAML file to provide the namespace definition so I'm going to give the API version as v1 find this namespace then metadata 
name i'll give the name as god so i have saved everything okay so now let us run the playbook ansible playbook and then we'll give the file name it has successfully created all the three namespaces because it is first time creating it that's why we are saying this is change. so let's confirm that you can see all the three namespaces let's confirm here as well you can see all the three namespaces created here okay so this playbook is an add important which means again if i execute this so it is going to check whether already the namespace object exists if it is exist it's not going to do anything if it doesn't exist then only it is going to create the namespaces so you can see here the status is okay so it has not changed anything now let us see how we can delete the created namespace so you just need to change the state to absent let's run it again So now you can see it is giving the information has changed which means it is it has deleted it let's go and confirm that so you can see all the three namespaces which we have created has been deleted so we'll validate here as well the namespaces have been deleted in this video we have seen how to create and delete kubernetes namespaces using ansible playbook thanks for watching the demo